So then the other option is to your point, Jeffrey, can we trust it to explain itself? Because now we have this AI, which actually can utter, you know, uh, English words or whatever language you want. So it could tell us in theory why it gave, you could ask it, why did you give me that result? And I think that the answer to that is you can't really trust what it says because even for humans, if I tell, you know, if I ask Brian right now why he wore that shirt, right, he will have, he will give me an explanation about that. Like, I like this shirt. I think it goes well with my beard. I spilled water on my other shirt, whatever. But the point is, that's probably not the reason why Brian picked that shirt. He's reconstructing that reason. There's a lot of research on this. Reconstructing that post hoc, like after the fact, and it doesn't necessarily map onto why. It might be just some subconscious thing. It was the closest thing on, on the shelf or in the drawer. Or that, you know, one of his friends, you know, had this expression on their face when they saw Brian with that shirt. And it was like, oh, they probably think I look good in this. But Brian wasn't thinking about that. That was the reason. Of that. Yeah. So long story short, AI is going to have those exact same problems. So we can actually count on it to be truthfully. It will just reconstruct what sounds great. It probably is not the reason why it gave you that particular information. So that's why this whole issue is super, super hard.